CompTIA came out with some new exam objectives for the CompTIA Security Plus just last November, but luckily for you, me and my team built over 1,500 practice questions in line with the new objectives that you can use for absolutely 100% free. I'm gonna show you how to use the practice questions. They're quite easy to use. It's online in a browser. You can literally do it anywhere. I'm gonna talk about how you can get $70 off Security Plus. And then finally, I'm gonna talk about my three-phase approach that I would implement to pass Security Plus today if I were to take it again. So if you're interested in getting Security Plus, this is probably the easiest and cheapest way to do it. So definitely stick around, watch the whole video to the end. The actual practice questions are on my company website. So just click the link in the description if you want to follow along and I'll kind of explain everything along the way. I didn't group the practice questions by objective this time. Rather, I kind of grouped them by chapter. All these questions are based off of the CompTIA Security Plus Get Certified Get Ahead book, like the new one um, by Daryl Gibson. So you, what you're kind of looking at here are, well, obviously they're just the, the different chapters. So for example, you would just choose a chapter that you want to work. So for example, we'll choose chapter one, mastering security basics, and then the test will load and you just click start and you read the question and you'll notice when you select the answer, it will tell you whether or not you got it right or wrong, obviously, but it also, offers a complete explanation of the correct answer, as well as a reference to the book. And it kind of explains, uh, and it also lists the page number in the book as well. So for example, like I said, all of these questions are kind of based off of different uh, sections of this book. Like every question maps directly to a section in the book. So if you, of course, if you click on this, you can you can buy the book if you want to like kind of use that to reference as you're studying. And also, if you would like to download the practice questions, like the offline version of them, if you scroll down where it says download free offline version, if you enter your email address here and say download for free, the deck will be sent to your email. In order to use this deck, you have to install Anki on your computer or your phone first. Anki is absolutely free everywhere, but for some reason it costs money on the iOS store. I think there might be a free version of it, but anyway, you install Anki, you, you open the deck when it gets emailed to you, and then you'll have an offline version of it. And on your computer, it will look something like this. And you can use it anywhere. You can use it um, on your laptop when it's offline. You can use it in the airplane or something. You can just have it anywhere. And the kind of the benefit of this is you can, it will keep track of your progress so you can kind of see what you got wrong and stuff. I kind of recommend doing this unless you just want to do like a quick practice or something like this. But offline version, to be honest, it's, it's way better. But I just wanted to make an online version for people to use if they didn't, you know, they had an iPhone they didn't want to deal with you know installing another app or something like that so it's kind of up to you getting into how to get $70 off security plus uh, it's pretty straightforward basically you would take Google cybersecurity program they kind of made their own program it's uh, actually more comprehensive than security plus I made a few videos about this already but you would take that pass that and you automatically get a 30% off coupon and then you would take that coupon and then you know use it to take Security Plus. The thing about this is the Coursera program, like the Google Cybersecurity Certificate, it costs like $50 a month. But the idea is if you can complete that program in a month, you know, you pay $50. In turn, you would get to the 30% off voucher, which is essentially it's about like minus $120 from Security Plus. And the difference from that is $70. So it's actually cheaper to get the Google Cybersecurity program and Security Plus than just getting Security Plus on its own without the coupon. It's really weird, but that's kind of the reality of things right now, as long as Coursera is offering the discount. And I will say this is like, I don't know if this is like really ethical or not, but Coursera does have like a, a seven day free trial. So you can sign up for the seven day free trial and then, you know, pass the Google Cybersecurity program in seven days by like blitzing through the content and if you finish it because the test is not proctored so it should be you know kind of quote unquote easy if you finish it in seven, day, seven days and get the voucher and then like cancel your Coursera subscription before the seven days run out then you get you know a full $120 off about or about the full you know 30% off security plus which is really nice so you know depending on you know your moral compass or whatever you can properly take it in like a month or you can like just blitz through it and get the the discount so you know those options are available to you so basically getting into how i would study for and pass a security plus today I, I basically use this method for all certification exams it's i call it three phase approach it's the priming phase learning phase and then the polishing phase so basically priming is you just you will quickly get a general overview of the stuff you're trying to learn the learning phase is when you take your time and like go through everything and kind of make sure you 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 know, quote unquote learn it and then the polishing phase is after you've kind of seen everything once 
the polishing phase is going back through and like really hitting the areas that are difficult for you, like the, the practice questions you've missed. Make sure you like fully understand those before you take your exam. So how to do these phases uh, for phase one, the priming phase, usually I'd recommend getting a video series or something like this and just watching it without taking notes. Just make sure you understand what's being talked about. But in this case, uh, because the Google cybersecurity program exists and it's so good, and it's, in my opinion, it's like a super set of Security Plus. Like it covers mostly everything that's in Security Plus, plus some more stuff. So that's that's probably the best thing to do in this scenario, not to mention you can get a discount from it. So for the, the priming phase, I, I would recommend, um, I'll put a link for this in the description, but I, I would recommend just going through the Coursera program, the Google Cybersecurity program, just through completion, like at a, a decent pace, try to go through it in a month. So you can prime your brain and then also get that like 30% off a voucher. So that's the priming phase. For the learning phase, of course, I would recommend using all the practice questions. Ideally, you want to use the offline deck because that will automatically keep track of the stuff you got wrong and it'll make it much easier for you when you kind of get to the polishing phase and you need to hit those areas that you got wrong right. Um, but if you if you just wanna like, you can't for some reason, um, I, I do recommend like if you're using the web one, try to keep track of the, the questions you got wrong so you, you know what to hit later, right? Because um, it doesn't save your progress like the web version. But once you've gone through like all of the practice questions and you've seen everything at least once, that kind of signifies the end of the learning phase. Again, offline deck is better, but uh, just you know do your best. Go through all of the practice questions don't skimp on them like understand like why the correct answer is correct and why the incorrect answer is incorrect um, you can use the book and the link as well if you want to um, you don't have to because you, you know you can use google or chat gpt but just go through all of the practice questions at least once and then move on to the polishing phase and then phase three the polishing phase this is the fun part basically you'll look at everything you got wrong and just you know drill into those and really understand them everyone has like some topics that like don't make sense or they're hard they just don't stick well for whatever reason so Take your time in this phase to like fully understand those, like redo the practice questions many times. And when you start getting bored or when you've like gone through everything and you're you're mostly getting everything right, you'll know that the polishing phase is finished and you're ready to take the actual exam. And then after you take and pass the exam, I recommend checking out my cybersecurity course. I kind of designed that course to bridge the gap between somebody who has Security Plus and then wants to find a job. So basically in the course, um, there's like three sections. There's like a, a theory section, which is heavy on the theory that I think you should know when trying to break into cybersecurity. There's like a practical section where we build like a whole sock in the cloud and like a honey net and we deal with live attack traffic from people like trying to attack our resources. And then the third phase or the third like section of the course is the job hunting section where we build your resume and your portfolio and we do a bunch of really deep dive interview practice and talk about like job hunting theory and um, you know really like put a heavy emphasis on actually getting a job if that makes sense. It's worked quite well. A lot of people have gotten jobs with this already. I have like a bunch of testimonials on my site and in my channel as well. And I do want to remind people trying to get into cybersecurity, you don't have to like get a job that's like, you know, cybersecurity like analyst or security something. Like most, well, I should say all IT jobs have at least some component of security in them. And if you haven't worked in cybersecurity, or IT like at all. Um, I do recommend people to apply to both IT and cybersecurity jobs because it, it's much easier to get into cybersecurity once you're in IT already. You can make the jump from nothing into cybersecurity, but you just have to like really distinguish yourself from your peers, which which is what my course is for. But you know, it's it's just easier, like the more broad your job, the jobs are you're willing to accept, the sooner you start working. It's just gonna make things easier, easier for you in the future. But yeah, I hope you enjoy the practice questions. Thanks for watching and we will see you in the next video.